This week's sports headlines, Colin Montgomery was well rewarded for his Ryder Cup heroics. Half an hour after that picture was taken, he was up in five with four still to play. <laughs> and American golfer Christy Kerr is overjoyed to have got her hands on the most keenly contested trophy in women's golf. <laughs> With Ian and Rory is a celebrity chef who brought out a special recipe book for the Athens Olympic Games. Colin Jackson contributed a stir-fry, Jonathan Edwards provided a Moroccan lamb dish, and of course for dessert there was Paula Radcliffe's surprise Greek crumble. <laughs> it's Ainsley Harriet. Oh, that's cool, man. That's cool, With Phil and Jonathan is a comedian and passionate Chelsea supporter who can remember the dark old days at Stamford Bridge when you couldn't even get organic cinnamon on your half-time frappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sean Locke. Yes, Sean. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. OK, we kick off with a footballing question. Ian, Rory and Ainsley have a look at this. Here's Thierry Henry and his pals guiding Arsenal to top spot in last season's Premier League. But recently, the lanky French goal machine has incurred the wrath of top telly chef Delia Smith. But what has Monsieur Vavavoum done to upset the Queen of the Cranberries mm. in steam? Well, you should explain um, oh, uh, the eye patch here. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of gangster rap thing, isn't it? I didn't know it was Ian. I thought it was Gabrielle sitting in this week. <laughs> <laughs> Either that, either that or I thought, blimey, Puzzy Bear's looking hip these days. <laughs> actually, the reason he's got is he's got a sty in his eye. Oh. Uh, it's, it's actually this eye, so I don't know why he's got the patch on. <laughs> it's, 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 cool, it's not man. a nice thing, and I, I thought I'd spare the viewing public that, to look at this um, atrocity on my eye. <laughs> and being the vain person that I am, I don't, I don't want to see it. <laughs> So anyway, it's nice to have Ainsley on the show. Yes, there's a question Ainsley. about Delia. Mm. You, you know Delia quite well. Well, yeah, you know, there's, a, there's been a little bit of contact over the years. Oh, oh, really? how, how, would you describe, how would you describe her? She's a, uh, an interesting woman, yeah. She's yeah so what's the signature dish? You said it's a beef thing. Stroppy old cow. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot say anything about Delia that will upset us all. She's the greatest. She's the first TV chef that we all remember. We grew up with her. Never mind Fanny Craddock. She was the best. Phil, she's your favourite cook, isn't she? Very much he so. even bought a book, Cooking With Ease. He was disappointed when he found out it was a different sort of ease. <laughs> but I <laughs> to leave Delia out of this. You need to toughen up, though, because Gordon Ramsay, that's where it's up now. That's what we want to see. We want to see the hard man, people. not the big soft pudding. We want to see the hard man. I've got an idea for you for a new show. Yeah. Can't cook, f*** off. You can't. <laughs> that's, your... <laughs> that's your new show. Why hasn't there been a sort of proper brother type cook, like a Jamaican oh, ready study cook or something? Rusty, that's what's that's your that's name? That's Rusty, what's That'd be just too slow, though, wouldn't it? You'd have something like the one in Jamaica you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, man. Ready, steady, soon come. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah that'd be like, <laughs> listen, the show's going to take a little bit longer today because <laughs> <laughs> we can't actually find the curry goat. We're trying to cook the goat. Yes. Have <laughs> <laughs> you done cooking with me? It was a joke that you can't really oh, cook yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> footballers' diets change quite a lot, isn't it? So, you know, because when, you oh, know, it's oh, changed a lot. I mean, because footballers aren't allowed to eat the sort of traditional stuff they used to. I mean, obviously, Wayne Rooney still likes the occasional tart, but, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> when Arsene came, Arsene Wenger... I'd say Arsene, because he's been dropper. making that. You couldn't eat nothing. <laughs> no sugar, no salt. Everything's low-fat. In the end, you'd hope to play against someone like Millwall, so in far banana, you can have something... <laughs> In answer to your question, Nick, you're oh, talking yes, about, yeah, we were God. talking about uh, Thierry, 
It was uh, Thierry, she was up, genuinely upset with Thierry Henry because there's loads of supporters waiting for his autograph and he didn't get off the coach. He's supposed to have stayed on the coach and not got off and signed all these kids' autographs. I will give you, Mr Harriet, three points. Thank you very much. Yes, indeed, it all goes back to the recent match between Norwich and Arsenal. According to Delia Smith, who's a Norwich City director, Thierry Henry refused to leave the Arsenal bus until children with cameras were removed from the team hotel. But Thierry claimed that simply wasn't true. This woman was not even there when we arrived. Delia had good reason to be bitter that day. The Arsenal players stayed on the coach for the whole afternoon and still beat Norwich 4-0. <laughs> Footballers' autographs can be worth quite a lot of money. At a recent auction, a shirt signed by Pele sold for £5,000, making it the second most expensive footballer's signature after the one on Ray Parler's divorce papers. <laughs> Ainsley, you, you, I know you attach your name to a wide variety of products, but what exactly was it that you were promoting in, in this photograph? <laughs> is that to advertise cock over him? <laughs> I don't know what's going on down there, quite, but I'd, I'd see a doctor there, and get that cleared up. I'd have that <laughs> biopsy. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jonathan, they were actually green when they placed them on there. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Phil, Jonathan and Sean, this one's for you. Here's Woolly Welsh winger Ryan Giggs showing off his tricks for Manchester United. Well, recently the friendly shirking footballer has become the butt of his teammates' jokes. So why has Giggsy turned into a figure of fun at Old Trafford, Phil's team? Well, he looks a bit of a furry man there, doesn't he? He does look furry. Is it that he's actually got a tail? <laughs> <laughs> is it anything to do with uh, his name, Ryan Giggs? An anagram of it is Saggy Ring. <laughs> <laughs> that, that could all tie in with the tail. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I don't. I suppose anagrams are that popular in the man. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have thought so. Have you ever waxed? No need to. Absolutely no need to. I've got the perfect, the exact, correct amount of body hair. There's have no you? need for another hair and I'd look disgusting. So you're perfect, really? <laughs> yeah, just one more hair. I mean, you see, you, have you got hair on your... Anywhere hair on else my other than where a, it should be? A bit on my back. It's not. I've got a nice amount of hair. It's sort of sand. No, there's no it? nice amount of hair. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's wrong. It's, it's back. Back. You should have none. It's like, it's it's like having yeah. three nipples or blood on your I've... clown suit. Or something like that. It's wrong. <laughs> I saw Ian's bottom before the show. I heard he was showing it. He got his bottom out of the show, so he was boasting about his perfect butt. And I'm telling you what, <laughs> he really was that. quite spectacular. Shows your bum in. No! No, no, don't! <laughs> Do not! <laughs> no, no, okay, okay, don't show, don't show your bum, but if you two put your heads together and look down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. Firm. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> so they were teasing why. Is it because he's Welsh? Must Possibly. be something to do with it. Surely that's reason enough. <laughs> right, why did he choose to play for Wales, man? He could have been the answer for us down the old left side, wouldn't he? Why did he do Can that? I, with, honestly, with you? honestly, tough as you know, What's it's the something with the boy. You know, so I woke up the other night and I, I jumped up and said, Giggsy, why? <laughs> <laughs> what did Giggsy say? He said, Giggsy. <laughs> 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 Giggsy, why? I thought it's do cars. Is it do, you know, because footballers, they're like really that, flash cars. They're big on cars. I don't know why, because they go over in a coach. Yeah. But. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of cars, Ian, what happened to your, what happened to you when you were driving with the, the old, was it a four, are we? What was it, a four? What? It was a, one of those Italian cars, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Similar to a Lamborghini, but not the same. <laughs> yeah, it was an unfortunate accident. That, what um, I crashed it. Probably more to it than that, yeah. Uh, well, I was showing off. <laughs> what were you showing off? You Not your seat. ass again, was it? <laughs> you can't move <laughs> while driving. <laughs> well, what did you? You went into a lamppost. I, I, I just, I'm really quite um, embarrassed about it. Yeah, share this because it's better. You, a problem? Should I let it out? A problem yeah. shared is a problem halved. Right. <laughs> let it out. <laughs> um, I was, I was, I had my nephew in the car, and um, I said to him, well, the last thing I remember saying to him was, uh, "Watch this." <laughs> Okay, and, and can I just say, just to, you know, just just wear your seatbelts. I didn't wear mine in that particular uh, incident, and you know, yeah. nothing happened to me. Also, <laughs> wear, wear, <laughs> also wear your seatbelts because Ian Wright might be driving down the road. Your <laughs> <laughs> Most importantly, yeah. 
Uh, what were we talking about? Giggsy. Yeah. yeah. Was he dining at the uh, Rooney's house and uh, stupidly committed a major uh, etiquette faux pas by using the dessert spoon <laughs> for his soup <laughs> uh, and the soup spoon for the palate cleansing sorbet that Ma Rooney serves between every <laughs> one of her <laughs> oh, dishes? Could That's Alan said? Smith you're thinking uh, about. Yeah. <laughs> Well, is it a nickname? Is no. he ever, did, was he no. teased? Was no. he ever a nickname? Has he got no. very hairy nose? No. <laughs> Has he got no penis? No, no. no. he's got no equipment. No. He's a Kaspati. He is a member of the Kaspati. that you used to tease. Oh, he sings like that. Oh, he has no genitalia. It's... Oh. <laughs> he, does, he, does, he does falconry without a glove. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's the closest yet. <laughs> He'll only a eat orange food. <laughs> 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 OK, you let me tell you, shower. it's all down to Julian Clary. Apparently, he yes, wanted Ryan that. Giggs for his partner on the new series of Strictly Come Dancing. According to Julian, Ryan is about the right height for me, and he's all man. His teammates thought that this was a bit of a hoot and covered the United dressing room with pictures of the pair. The pictures were bad news for Ryan Giggs, but even worse news for Rio Ferdinand, as they'd stuck them over the Don't Forget to Take Your Drug Test poster. <laughs> In 1997, Ryan Giggs threw a party at which fellow Man United players had to wear drag. Nicky Butt turned up in a mini skirt. Paul Scholes wore an evening gown. And an ever hopeful Gary Neville turned up dressed as Victoria Beckham. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of that round, Phil's team have no points and Ian's team has three. Yay! <laughs> It's uh, physical challenge time now, as the teams work up a little sweat to earn a few points. This week we have a cross-trainer machine at our disposal, so if you'd bring that on, please. Now, as ever, the harder you go at it, the quicker the pictures are revealed. Just the regulars this week, so it's going to be skippers and then regulars, OK? Oh, you're on first, baby. Ian's team. Ian's team first. You are first. Bad eye or not? Your time starts now. Go on. Go for it, Ian. Go I was going to jump over the desk, but I can't, come on, pedal, I can't pedal see. Pedal power. <laughs> hey, 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 come on. That's the other way. Cool. That's it. Look at the other answers over there. Uh, it's, it's, why is it so hard to do? Uh, Ryder right Cup. Right 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 this is so hard. Come on, E. Keep it. Come on, E. Come on, E. Fire it up, man. Tim Edmund. Frank Lampard. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Jesus, this is Come on, E. I'm ill. I can't do it. Oh, I've got Think about that score, Dean. Move the arms in, the arms. Oh. Linford Chris No, uh, Linford Chris yes. Linford. Oh, there you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come on, oh, on. Oh, 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 oh. How hard is that? Is that hard? Oh, yes, sir. Oh, what is that? Come on. Lord's Cricket Club. Lord's Cricket Club, oh, correct. <laughs> Rory, you're looking oh, good. Nice. Come on, Rory. Get that fat. Moving! <laughs> Neville! No, um, yes, yes, yes! Uh, Gary, Neville. Gary Neville, Neville yes! Neville. Yeah. Yeah. He was moving it off the ground, Rory! That was fantastic! <laughs> right, Phil, off you go! Go on, Phil, you can go, do it! Phil, go on, Phil. Phil. Thanks, Jonathan. Oh, no. Tennis player, who is it? Give us a look. Uh, What's going on? Colin Montgomery! Colin Montgomery. 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 God bless it. He <laughs> won Colin Montgomery. Oh. Oh, Who's that? I can't see from there. That Clim, uh, Clim, Clim, tennis player. Pat Cash. Pat Cash is Come on, what on earth? What's going on? You're, you're not going. You're not the Eiffel Tower. No, it's not the Eiffel Tower. It's a flag. It's a Grand Prix flag. Right, maybe that. Yeah. Oh. Get on there, man. Get up there, man. Come on, Jonathan. Make that hat fly off. Go on, son. <laughs> Shane Warne. It's killing. Mike no, Tyson. Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson is correct. That's uh. ridiculous. Jonathan. Mike Tyson is correct. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a, it's like a bit like a well, ride, isn't it? Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. Jose Mourinho. Never mind you, Nick. You're a bloody lazy fat. Okay. Is he safe? Sorry. Keep going, Rossi. How hard is that, Rossi? Maradona. Maradona. Kelly. Yes, Diego Maradona. Maradona. Okay, at the end of 
all of that. Phil's team has six points and Ian's team has nine. Yeah! Yeah! Winning as usual. Winning as usual. OK, round three is the treble, where sports personalities are paired with things. Ian's team, your subject for the treble is sporting injuries, and your three are... Hermitan former football pundit Ron Atkinson. Double golden wonder Kelly Holmes. Okay. And tear stained Geordie genius Paul Gascoigne. But who was laid low by a lobster? Which one was injured by a golf buggy? And who was scuppered by a centipede? <laughs> That's for Ian's team. Before we start, can I just say, great news about the Ryder Cup, eh? It's finished! <laughs> <laughs> We're all delighted about the Ryder Cup, but let's not get out of perspective. It is merely golf. Yeah. A game played by normally overweight businessmen and cab drivers. Okay? <laughs> and the way they were talking about the commentator is if it was some fabulous triumph, they were talking about it as a battle. They were talking about, is it Bernard Langer? Is that the, the German brothers? Yeah, yeah. His troops. Yeah. It's not a war. No mother got a letter saying, we're very sorry to say, but on the 18th hole, your son was three over par. <laughs> At one stage, a commentator actually said, Colin Montgomery walked down, they went, here he comes, Field Marshal Montgomery. Oh, no, no, no. He's not a Field Marshal, he's a fat bloke who plays golf. <laughs> Ron Atkinson actually is a bit like a lobster, isn't he? Because he's got the same sort of bright, shiny, pinky-orange mm. colour. I think he was dark blue before they boiled him. <laughs> <laughs> Are these all things you can actually stuff up Ron Atkinson's arse or something? <laughs> you, were, you, you weren't happy with Ron, were you? Oh, um, very disappointed with Ron. Yeah. Ron was a man who brought through, like, black players at a time when it was just like, it was never going to happen. And this is a man who was there at the start, saw what they went through, bullets through the post, people threatening him, and still, um, we're talking about uh, as, as, as late as like 2000 when I, when I used to do football stuff with him. He's still taking a piss. So when this all happened, I says, um, served him right. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact is, people like Viv Anderson, Cyril Regis, Laurie Cunningham, Rusty Solon, like Brendan Batson, they, because they're professional people, they will never come out and, and say, off, yeah. because, so it's left for me to do it. <laughs> so if it was up to me with these things, like I said earlier, I would um, stick every single one of these, the centipede, <laughs> the, the lobster and the golf buggy, last, so up his ass. Yeah. <laughs> if he says anything against us three homies again, <laughs> I'll have a cap in his white ass, I tell you. <laughs> I think, I think the, uh, the buggy's definitely associated with Ron. Right. And I know that uh, Gazza, Gazza got well sick on the old lobster. Lobsters. You know, in, in the current... Like, we are in the, like, the 2000, right? 2000, the millennium kind of vibe. Yeah, 2004. Let's say 2000. <laughs> let's, let's not muck about. Let's, let's say what year it, People <laughs> deserve to know <laughs> what year it is! Ainsley, we're in the year 2004. Yeah, right. There must be... An easier way to kill a lobster than boiling it, man. No, no, it's the quickest way. You, you no, know, man. you just put them it's in the hot water. It's just worse cruel, man. man. Ian, I'll be honest with you. I, think, I don't think the lobster minds. You know why? Lobster doesn't know it's dying. Lobster thinks it's having a nice bath, doesn't it? <laughs> Ainsley, you've, yeah. you've cooked uh, lobster. Have yeah. you ever cooked a centipede? Oh, one of them. I felt was... it wriggle all the way down, mate. Wasn't it, it was a snickety grub? That was a snickety grub, didn't you? Witchy grub, worms, grub. everything, all crawling around your mouth. But that was good, man. Yeah, hold it, but that was the stag night. What about when you were in the jungle? Well, you, but you mentioned witchetty grubs, and I remember having those, and I thought that was uh, quite an unusual taste. Cause I ate the head, and there's all sort of nutmeg and... Uh... Don't tell me they tasted like peanuts, cos they don't. Oh. <laughs> well done. Now, what Nick, wasn't it that uh, the... Something with Ron Atkinson, he was in that golf buggy, and he, right. he put it in reverse or something, didn't Maybe. he? Maybe. Only because Ron Atkinson was um, stuck in time. Yeah. Taking him back to 1953 or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> so, therefore, you're saying... Kelly Holmes. Said be Gaza lobster. You get three points. Oh. Yeah. In fact, Ron Atkinson was injured when he fell out of a golf buggy and required six stitches in the head. Kelly Holmes was bitten on the leg by a poisonous centipede at a training camp in Cyprus. And Paul Gascoigne was hospitalised after eating a dodgy lobster. <laughs> Paul Gascoigne recently spent six months playing in the Chinese second division. It came as a bit of a shock to him. He'd only popped out for a drink with Chris Evans and Danny Baker. <laughs> 
Big Ron is famous for his catchphrases such as early doors, lollipop, backstick, and his most famous one of all, this mic's not on, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Phil's team, your subject for the treble is unfortunate comparisons, and your three are... Specky Dutch midfielder Edgar Davids. Florida-based Siberian tennis sensation Maria Sharapova. And not as good as they used to be cricket team, the West Indies. But who was compared to a rat? Who was likened to the godfather of soul, James Brown? Ow. And which one was compared to a teapot? Phil's team. <laughs> Maria oh. Sharapova. She's very She's nice. a fine filly and a fabulous player. Uh, and interestingly, she didn't have a conventional education. Nope. I know that her father took her out of school and took her over to the US where she went to a tennis camp all her, all her youth, didn't she? That does. Which I think just goes to show for any kids watching, school's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need it. You don't need it. Although I believe she's now trying to catch up on education by taking a course on the internet. And I looked into it to try and find out, so I entered uh, Maria Sharapova, schoolgirl, into my internet. <laughs> Blimey, some of the girls at school with her were very naughty indeed. <laughs> and it must be hot in that classroom because they were wearing very little. <laughs> Most of them were acrobats. <laughs> <laughs> she grunts though, doesn't she? She makes a grunting noise. Grunt she goes, she goes, she goes, she goes, like a lorry actually... driver having a crap. <laughs> I was in the commentating box at Radio 5 Live. <laughs> they asked me to go in partly because of my love of tennis. So I was in there to commentate. She was up against uh, Sugiyama. But they had me in because they couldn't have Boris Becker in because his lawyer won't let him go into any small confined spaces. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the bloke with the glasses, wasn't he in Milli Vanilli? <laughs> no, he's, got, he's got glaucoma. That's why he wears it. It's one of the few, the, actually, the few diseases you're allowed to smoke dope on. You get a letter from your doctor. You can smoke marijuana wow. if you've got glaucoma. Phil. What's that, mate? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they give it to you for nothing. Well, no, you get a letter and you can explain away that, you know... You, yeah, you, but you, surely, you know, so surely drug boys. dealers don't take prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if, if you have to come across somebody who objects, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they say, young man, desist from smoking that powerful herb. You have to take out your letter from the doctor and say, I've got glaucoma. I don't think it helps, you just don't give a shit, but... No. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to find it, yeah. though, if you got glaucoma. You'd, You'd really want a prescription. Like that, <laughs> Where's the blade? It'd probably be a gas bill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Policeman comes up, yeah. says, you're smoking, don't you? Say, yeah, read that, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, then, let's have the answer up here. Is he riddled with disease? Rats are riddled with disease? No, I know the rats. I know the rats. They, they have very long Ooh. tails, Ooh. like the West Indies cricket team. Which leaves you with... And I know the teapot, because I think this fellow over here... He must have been on something because he described Edgar Davies as, as a teapot with dreadlocks. I think that can only be described as a lucid moment, Phil. You've just had three yeah. points. Well yeah. done. Yeah. In fact, former England cricket skipper Mike Atherton likened the West Indies cricket team to a boatyard rat, both having a ludicrously long tail. Our own Ian Wright called Edgar Davies a dreadlock teapot. Why was that? Because he was standing at the post like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, fair enough, during Euro 2004. And Maria Sharapova was compared to James Brown for the <laughs> noise she makes <laughs> when performing. Let's just see how true that is. <laughs> That's very good, that is. Come do that again. In her spare time, Maria Sharapova likes to read Sherlock Holmes novels, whereas at the end of a tournament, Tim Henman prefers a good who won it mystery. <laughs> Bizarrely, Michael Atherton has no sense of smell, which was good news for Phil Tufnell, as he was the only captain who believed Phil's claims that his hotel room was actually full of fog. <laughs> I'd say at the end of all that, Phil's team has nine points and Ian's team has 12. Woo! <laughs> 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 OK, we finished with the name game. The team in the lead goes first, which is Ian's team. Uh, Angie, oh. can you pass those on to Rory, please? Mm -hmm. As many names as you can in your allotted time. And that time... Well, let him on the yeah. envelope, man. What's starts on now. Gosh. 96 to the England goalkeeper. Gordon Banks. Yeah, very good. <laughs> American Ryder Cup goal. The same concern as Christian Amos Flintstone. 
Fred, 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 Fred Couple. Very good. Oh, Fred, aggressive. Get on down. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this is um, who says Real Madrid doesn't make mistakes. The sign this player from uh, Newcastle, uh, overrated defender. Um, John from Woodgate. Yeah, very good indeed. Now I'm this is first. F first word is this. Strangle. Shake. 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 That's race and roll. Race and shake. Rattle and roll. Race horse owner. Yeah. Sorry. Shake. Uh, shake. Ahmed. What's his name? Shake. Yeah. Shake. This is a woman golfer. She's a little bit spotty. You know. Laura Davis. Yeah, she's a little bit spotty. Sorry, Laura. We'll take your word for that, Ian. Laura. Sorry, Batty. No, salt and pepper. So first name. Pepper funnel. First name. You're familiar with Percy. No, it's like spotty, and it's got little dick. Concentrate. Move on. Think of the paintings of Sura. I can't think. Move on. Move on. Dotty. 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 Player for Everton, like a banana. Bent. 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 Yeah. First name. Like, um, Marcus Bent. Marcus Bent. Marcus Bent. Marcus Bent. Yeah. Marcus yeah. Bent. Yeah. 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 Everything yeah. but the kitchen. Sink. 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 Right. Sink. 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 Very good. Yeah. Fuller player got sent off at the weekend. Yeah. 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 Okay, Ian, I, I can't give you Dottie, I'll give you Shake Mammy, but not Dottie, okay? Oh, no, that's only fair. That's not okay. Right. You're just making it. You're loving it. You're loving it. Pass those around to Jonathan. Take your time. Take your time. Don't, Don't time it, boy. How more blinded are you getting? Time starts now. Hello, I'm German. I'm leader of the Europe Ryder Cup team. My name is. That's right, thank you so much. Okay, I'm a Manchester United player. Very hairy, very hairy. Right, that's the man. All right. Uh, this is a bowler, he's a fast bowler. And, no, and if he hurt your male child, he would do something to your... Wasn't male child? Harmison. He's... Harmison. Oh, OK, there you go. Harmison. First name, well done. Oh, All right, uh, last name is the same as Del Boy from Fools and Horses. He's a runner. Shotter. First name is... She used to be in Pan's People. There was Sam. Three, there was Cherry, there was... Dee Dee. Dee Dee. Dee Dee Shotter. Well done. Yeah. If this was an upmarket quiz show, you would be Ian... He'd be Paul Merton and you'd be Ian... Hislop. 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 And if you did a bit of a dance and say, hey, look at that, he really can... G jiggy. He was a bit like Jiggy. Shake. Oh. Yeah, Shaker. Like Shaker. Nanny's doing Shaker. 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 This is a great boxing trainer. Uh, he used to be in Muhammad Ali's corner. He's the name oh, of the... Angelo Dundee. Angelo Dundee. Angelo Dundee. Angelo Dundee. Wait, come on. Uh, this is... Uh, his first name is his name of the man. The Mr Payne, who wrote The Rights of Man, the famous philosopher. Thomas Payne. Thomas. OK, for you it's a tank engine. Right. And the second man... Some American pie. I drove my right, Chevy to the Levy. Levy. Oh, Thomas Levy. All right. Oh, now, when you have some dope, you feel nice and chilled out. You feel relaxed. Yeah. You feel stoned. You feel <laughs> not happy. You feel mental. You feel happy days. It's relaxed. A, it's easy. <laughs> if it was a colour, it'd be yellow. But a you feel mellow. mellow. First name is uh, the bloke from the salon. Gay as a rower tent. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, like a Richard, but not Richard. Antonio. It's a uh, Richard, Dick. but Dickie. in another. No, Richard, but Richard. With, Richard. Richard. Ricardo. Rick. Well done. So after all that, Phil's team has 17 points, but Ian's team is the winner with 18. Oh. So thanks to Ian, Rory, and Ainsley, Phil, Jonathan, and Sean. My name's Nick Hancock. They think it's all over. It is now. <laughs> Where's those hats on the radio, you know? In for Terry, Jonathan's talking to Robbie Williams tomorrow morning from 7, so wake up to wash on BBC Radio 2. That's 88 to 91 FM.